Well, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, uh, Patty has told me that you've got a verdict in this case, and before I take the verdict forms, I once again want to thank you. The Constitution of our country can only be protected in a couple of ways, one of which is by active military service to make sure that we can maintain our constitutional form of government. Another way is by jury service. The right to, to trial by jury is guaranteed in the Constitution. And by coming down here and taking time out of your private lives and your business lives, you are second only to the armed forces in the protection of our constitutional liberty. So for that, I thank you. So if I may have the verdict forms, please. As to count one, we the jury being duly impaneled and sworn do hereby find the aggravating circumstances that the defendant was found guilty of committing do outweigh the mitigating factors presented in this case by proof beyond reasonable doubt. We therefore unanimously find that the sentence of death should be imposed on defendant Joseph McAlpin. With regard to the second count, we the jury being duly impaneled and sworn do hereby find that the aggravating circumstances that the defendant was found guilty of committing do outweigh the mitigating factors presented in this case by proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Therefore, we unanimously find that the sentence of death should be imposed by, on, on defendant McAlpin. Okay. Anything further of this uh, jury from uh, the state of Ohio? No, Your Honor, thank you. From Mr. McAlpin? Um, yes, as far as waiving uh, court cost fines and the fines do you have a notice of appeal? Well, that'll be dealt with at the sentencing hearing. Oh, the sentence is okay. Well, uh, take care of all that sentencing. Yes, sir. Okay. Anything else? No, no, no. Very well, then. Um, sentencing will be set for May 21st at 1 o'clock p.m. Now, on the previous days, Mr. McAlpin, you requested a pre-sentence report as well as a psychiatric evaluation. Yes. Those reports were prepared. Do you want to have me consider those reports for my final evaluation, or do you want to go through on just what's been presented here in open court? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so it shall be done. All right, very good. May 21st of 2019 at Your 1 o'clock. Your Honor, we would ask that you poll the jury. I'm sorry. All right, I will poll the jury. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the jury, as we did in the first phase of the trial, I'm going to ask you if I have announced your verdict in, as you have agreed to and whether or not you agree with that verdict as I read in open court. Juror number one? Yes. Two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Five, yes. six, yes. seven, yes. eight, yes. nine, yes. ten, yes. eleven, yes. and twelve. Yes. Very good. Polling complete. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Uh, due to the nature of this, I have to consider everything separately and independent. I will not come back to talk to you about this case. Uh, however, some of the attorneys may come back. Whether or not you want to stay and talk to them, it's up to you. All right? Thank you. Please rise.